If you're looking for the best dry suit for kayaking, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Cockadat Men's Gore-Tex Front Entry Dry Suit. This Cockadat Men's Gore-Tex Dry Suit is a durable, waterproof dry suit that features three layers of Gore-Tex fabric. It is made to keep you dry both by wicking moisture and sweat away from your body and preventing water from entering the suit. It comes in a range of sizes from 35-inch chest up to 53-inch chest, so it can be ideal for a wide variety of paddlers. The dry suit benefits from latex gaskets and neoprene collar and cuffs. The collar and cuffs also feature a hook and loop closure that can be adjusted. Another advantage of this dry suit is the front zippered entry and the relief zipper. For added durability, the knees and seat are reinforced with cordure patches. The number two position is held by Gil Dinghy Sailing Dry Suit. The Gil Dinghy Sailing Dry Suit features four layers of nylon fabric with the exterior shell benefiting from a PU coating for improved abrasion resistance. These four layers allow the suit to remain waterproof while keeping you feeling comfortable by removing moisture from the inner layers. It also benefits from fully taped seams. The front diagonal zipper can make it easy to put on and take off, and the internal elasticated suspenders help keep it in place. The dry suit features fabric socks, an elasticated waist, and reinforced knees and seat. The glide skin collar and cuffs are designed to stretch to fit so that water doesn't get through. Another handy feature is the small cargo pocket on the thigh. Moving on to the next and number three with Stolquist Women's Amp Dry Suit. This Stolquist Women's Amp Dry Suit can be a great dry suit for kayaking as it features a front zipper entry so that it's more comfortable to wear while you're seated. It is made for women so it can be a more comfortable cut and has better size options to suit women's bodies. The relaxed fit of this dry suit means there's room for you to wear layers underneath for added warmth. The dry suit is made with four-layer twin sensor nylon and it's made to be waterproof but breathable. It has a neoprene-coated latex neck, as well as neoprene-coated latex wrist gaskets. It comes in a bright yellow color and benefits from having reflective strips for added visibility. It also features a zippered pocket on the arm that can be useful for storing smaller items. The number four position is dominated by Stolquist Edge Dry Suit. The Stolquist Edge Dry Suit is a men's dry suit that is designed to be comfortable and durable. It is crafted from a four-layer twin sensor nylon that is designed to be both waterproof and breathable. The inner layers are made to wake moisture away from your body while the exterior shell features a DWR water repellent coating for increased water resistance and durability. Another feature of this dry suit is the front entry zipper that is positioned diagonally across the chest for convenience. There is also relief zipper and reinforced knees. For added safety and increased visibility, the dry suit is reflective accents that can be useful in a rescue situation. The number five position is held by Typhoon Women's Ezidin Front Zip Dry Suit. This Typhoon Women's Ezidin Dry Suit is made for women, with their smallest size being ideal for women of 5 foot 2 inches with a chest size of 34 inches. They also do plus sizes, with their LR size being made for women of 5 foot 8 inches and 46 inch chest. It features a four layer fabric that is both waterproof and breathable. It's also very lightweight for added comfort and ease of movement. Another benefit of this dry suit is the water-resistant clear pocket that's ideal for maps. To make it easy to get on and off, there's a diagonal front zipper and internal suspenders. The Glideskin neoprene neck and cuff seals add comfort and help to lock out the water. It also benefits from PU reinforced knees and seat for added durability, which can be useful if you're sitting or kneeling in your kayak. Next at number 6, we have Yak Vanguard Whitewater Kayak Dry Suit. This Yak Vanguard Kayak Dry Suit is a men's dry suit that features a three-layer shell that has taped seams for increased waterproofing. The suit also features latex socks. Another feature of this dry suit is the internal suspenders, which can make it easier to put on and take off, as well as help to keep the suit in place. The neoprene waistband can also serve a similar purpose, helping to keep the suit from riding up during water activities. The suit is designed to stay watertight with the help of the latex inner neck seal and the latex wrist and ankle seals. While this dry suit doesn't have a front zipper closure, it does have a horizontal back zipper across the shoulders. Additionally, there is a relief zipper on the front for when nature calls. The number seven position is held by Cockadat Men's Hydra Swift Entry Dry Suit. The Cockadat Men's Hydra Swift 
and Tree Dry Suit features a breathable Hydrus 3.0 nylon, which is a three-layer waterproof shell that benefits from a water-repellent coating. It features latex on the neck collar, wrist, and ankles, with hook and loop style closures at both the ankles and wrist. The dry suit benefits from a durable front zipper that can make getting it on and off a little easier, and can also improve comfort levels when you're seated in your kayak. It also features a drawstring waist, so that you can tighten for a more tailored fit. At the eighth position of our list, we have O'Neill Men's Boost 300 Edge Dry Suit. This O'Neill Men's Boost dry suit is made from abrasion-resistant 300 nylon, which is also breathable for added comfort. It features a three-layer shell that is waterproof and benefits from taped seams. The loose-fitting design also means there should be room for layers underneath. The dry suit features integrated suspenders to make it easier to put on, and the smooth skin neoprene neck seal can make it more comfortable to wear. It also benefits from wrist and ankle seals that are made from latex, and it has a horizontal back zipper that is waterproof. The zip is located across the shoulders, so you may need some help getting the suit on and off. Next at number 9, we have O'Neill Men's Boost 300 Edge Dry Suit. To show you that you can get a decent dry suit on a budget, I'll start this round up with O'Neill Boost. O'Neill's Loose Fitting Boost Dry Suit is made of 3-layer, 300-gram nylon, which feels rugged while also allowing a decent breathability level. The dry suit's gaskets are made of latex, except for the neck seal made of neoprene for improved comfort. Also, I like that it features built-in suspenders. They help keep everything in place when you're wearing several insulating layers underneath. It features a rear entry zipper, though you could ask someone to help you zip it up. But if you generally paddle alone, this could be a problem. Oh, and while we're at it, it doesn't have relief zippers either. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Cockadat Hydrus 3L. Cockadat Hydrus 3.0 Meridian is one of the most impressive kayaking dry suits I had the pleasure of wearing recently, and here's why. This front zip dry suit is made of Cockadat's proprietary three-layer Hydrus 3.0 fabric, meaning it's waterproof and, more importantly, incredibly breathable. It's as close to Gore-Tex fabric as you can get at a budget-friendly price. Cockadat's Meridian dry suit features latex, wrist gaskets paired with neoprene cuffs and a range of bells and whistles. You're getting a relief zipper, a zippered waterproof chest pocket with a key lanyard, and a dual adjustable overskirt for better compatibility with a spray skirt. Furthermore, it features built-in dry socks and reinforced patches in high wear areas, along with a drawstring waist for a better fit. If there's one downside dimension, it's that the neck gasket tends to feel a bit snug at first, but only while the dry suit's still brand new. That's all for today. We upload outdoor products review videos in every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.